guys, it's Trina today, and as you can see, it's just you and me. So welcome, welcome to the lair. And um, I actually have something very personal I wanna share with you since it's just you and me. Uh, it's actually a song I made, a worship song. Um, very spirit-led, very unorthodox, you may say. But I'm gonna play it for you and get your opinion. Soak up in your presence every day is a daily win. Could care less about worries, I can gave it all to him. Guided by the spirit, he so please, I feel his grace. She I did it! Yeah. Oh my gosh! She bumps music, she comes, you know? Oh, <laughs> That's huh? good, who's that? Uh, oh, it's me. Not really, who's that? <laughs> Show it to them first. Oh, get some for oh. oh, hey, y'all, y'all special. <laughs> I guess. Wait, is that the song you wanted me to hear? And you was like, I want to give you the words as if I wasn't going to understand the words. Yeah, you know, sometimes. Trina, I can understand the words. <laughs> I can understand. You know what's good? <sighs> hey, y'all, it's me, your girl, Pastor Matu, and I'm with Trina and her fabulous worship song um, that we love. And you know what? Let's ask her about this song. And what caused you to write this song, Trina? So one day I was worshiping and, you know, I was just singing the, you know, the basic schmasics, which are good. They're the foundation. And, you know, but I was like, God, I, I want to party with you. Like, I feel like I'm always in my feelings, but I just want to celebrate with you. I just want to ravish and, and glean in the fact that you are God and I can trust in you. And I, I, I want to dance. I want to dance to you. I want to be, mm, 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 mm. You know what I'm saying? In your worship. Yes. Okay. Yes. This is JB. Baby, <laughs> I think it's time for us to have a talk. Yeah. Um, because um, clearly, our girl here is literally working out and walking <laughs> out our word for today, which is worship. worship. Yeah. Then we want to talk about it because a lot of people get worship confused with praise, or mm. praise confused with worship, and they they go together interchangeable on a lot of levels. But worship is adoration to God. And she mm -hmm. wrote this really cool song, Adoring God, from the way that she wanted. She wanted to do something that she wanted to ravishingly. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she wanted to. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you know what? She authentically wanted to adore God from the perspective that she um, saw it in this time of writing and sharing. And we appreciate your vulnerability. Thank so you. let's take a minute. Uh, JB, because I know he and I have been talking about worship in general. And so share a couple of scriptures that you kind of saw around that. And so let's have a little talk about some thoughts. Yeah. So Psalms 28, 7 says, the Lord is my strength and shield. I trust him with all my heart. He helps me and my heart is filled with joy. I burst out in songs of thanksgiving. Oh, okay. Okay. I don't care what does that have to do <laughs> with, with worship. Like, how do you see that having something to do with worship? Um, I think, you know, at the end it says, I burst out in songs. It's like something within you so, like, indwelt by God's love. And you just have to burst out and just like, ah, oh, like, I love okay. you. Yeah. Okay. And that's what you were doing. And that's what you were This just <laughs> rose up. And, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let's get another scripture to look at. Okay. John four twenty three says, but the time is coming, indeed, it's here now, when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Mm -hmm. The Father is looking for those who will worship him this way. Nice. Wow. So I think that's kind of cool, Trina, because I think it doesn't matter like what musical style that you pick, even though I hear musicians say there's certain keys in this <laughs> worship, right? You guys were talking about that, like what keys yeah, are there? Like, keys. I can invite like the G, B, C, <laughs> the right. Okay, so a lot of people go, okay, now I'm worshiping because it's a particular song. Yeah. But yeah. really, it's about being in spirit and truth. It's mm -hmm. about, you know, um, understanding who God is and yeah. what God is doing and, 
and how he is to he's worthy to be worshipped you know yeah. I have a, a passage that I love when I think about worship and it comes out of revelations and it talks about how the angels are like constantly around the throne saying holy 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 right Amen. and it's like it's like God has this worship entourage because he's so worthy to consistently mm. have a being saying so wow. and that even if we don't like there's already a heavenly host that are assigned you know and understand that adoring him is is it is good yeah. it is it is it is part of our expression and he deserves it yeah. um even the rocks will cry out it, yeah and the rocks will cry out so i think sometimes with praise and worship um those words are synonymous um and i think praise has a lot to do with bursting forth with joy of understanding that God has done something. Yeah. Oftentimes, like, I will praise you because of this, mm. and I will do this, and I will praise you. But worship is more of, like, I'm understanding more of who you yeah. are. Yeah, yeah, like, there's more are. of an, an a layer. I think about Shrek, like, the layers. <laughs> I got another layer <laughs> of understanding of your love, of your, of, your, of your loving kindness, and that causes me to just be in awe. Yeah. Mm. Just like, yeah. Oh, and maybe that's why they picked certain keys because yeah, those, it's like those, those keys, those, those keys in, they do something. Yeah, <laughs> that, those keys invoke, yeah. you know, an awe <laughs> of sorts. Yeah. We're, we're not music. Well, I'm not. I don't play our instrument of, at, at all, so I don't claim musician. But <laughs> I do claim worshiper. And yeah. um, those who worship must worship in spirit and truth. And in truth, and the truth is, God is worthy to be praised. Amen. So, JB, you and I were talking, um, and you were just saying there's some other aspects to worship because it's not just music. Yeah. And so, can you like talk to us a little bit about that? Yeah. So, worship involves surrender of our lives to God. So, mm -hmm. it's not just praise, but it's also the way you live your life, it's how you read the word, it's how you meditate on Him, it's everything that involves your relationship between Him, is, is that worship aspect of it. Yeah, I think, and, and you know what, Trina, I think about sometimes when we have praise and worship together on Sunday morning at the source, you know, there are times where you'll, you'll say, hey, this is the opportunity to lift your hands to God. Mm. And that's an act of surrender. And it can yeah. feel really awkward. I don't know about you guys, like the first time I like raised my hands yeah. in church, I was like, <laughs> yeah. I'm awkward. Right. Right? Oh, right? I remember, yeah. But it was yeah, a surrender. Was but yeah. why why was it awkward? Do you think? Why why was it awkward for you? I don't. I I other think what well, I was scary what other people were thinking, and I don't know. Just I, this isn't something you do a lot. <laughs> I'm just talking about life. Or, or ooh, even as a child, that's something you did as a child to lift your hands up uh, to your parents. It's it's like vulnerable. Vulnerability. It's vulnerability. Yeah. It's it's yeah, a physical great. manifestation mm. of, of what's going on in your head, which is spiritual vulnerability. Yeah, so, that's good. Yeah. that's good. And it's good that I that you guys both said, and I felt the way the same way too. That you're worried about what other people think. Yeah. And when you worship, you don't care about anybody but God thinks. Yeah. Yeah. Like true worship, you know, like worship in spirit, spirit and truth. truth. Okay. The truth is, <laughs> Come on. we don't care what other people think. <laughs> yeah. We are um, seeking to pour out worship and adoration on the living God. And we mm -hmm. want him to look down and be pleased and be like, that's my kid. Yeah. That's my kid. <laughs> yeah. um, God doesn't talk. Like that. Uh, <laughs> 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 Maybe I don't know. I don't know. That's, that's not how he sounds to me. Um, but JB, what what other insights do you have for us about worship? Worship is putting our focus directly on Him, mm. and I think in, in life sometimes we look to other different places. And but when you're in worship, you're just totally just focused on God and how big He is and how much He can do in your life and those around you so and what he yeah. already has done just to bless done. you yeah. yeah he's done enough yeah and the, the interesting thing about it is we talking about worship in regards to god but you know you talk about worshiping him and the reality is sometimes we don't realize we're worshiping other things and other people yeah right like we will we'll, we'll yeah. literally put other things and other people ahead of god so worship is um something that can be done you can adore and and anybody you can send adoration to anybody but the in, the in our context it's the idea that he is above all yeah that he's above you know anybody else's entourage there's some yeah. other very famous people who you know we 
shout and spend our money and do all those things for but none of them have an angel entourage that's saying Same. holy holy holy, holy. Yeah. None, of, none of them created <laughs> us none of them knows how many hairs we have on our head none of them can see our tomorrow and are with us in our today and so mm. when we begin to like reflect oftentimes praise and worship leaders will talk about if you just reflect on the goodness of god yeah. let's meditate wow. on who he is one of my favorite things is when they say let's tell god who he, who we yeah. know him to be Mm -hmm. And um, one of the cool things that um, I like to do with God sometimes when I can't sleep is, you know, just recall who he is, who I know him to be. Wow. You, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You're, you're, you're good. You're a comfortable comforter. You're, you are kind. You are loving. You yeah. are merciful. Yeah. You're, you're gracious, you know, and you, I can like some people count sheep. You know? <laughs> I, 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 I got traits of God, the character of God, you know. Um, that's that's a form of, of worship, and there's no song in that. That's just me um, from studying and experience, um, reminding myself and recounting to God who I've learned who He is over the years. Okay, another one, another. You have another one? Yeah, I do. Okay. Worship is thanking God for all He has done. All right, that one. Uh, and one last one. Worship is singing love songs to God. It draws Him closer to us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we love that. Yeah, we're serenading God. We're like serenading God, mm -hmm. right? And, that, and that's why so many worship songs that we uh, enjoy actually almost have like a love song vibe to them. Yeah, you know, yeah, does, some yeah. of my favorite ones. I think about some of the people who like even really get it in. He's got that neo classic soul R and B kind of vibe, and he's yeah. just kind of like oh, <laughs> hey, you know. But that's oh intentional. Gosh, yeah. It's intentional because you know. <laughs> we are bestowing that on him and loving yeah. him and, and he's a relational that. being yeah. yeah he loves us and we love him yeah. I love you guys Aww. so to that and those of you who like to tease me on Sunday morning when I be trying to worship God <laughs> one I do not care what you think my worship is for God amen um, two <laughs> Some of us have singing gifts, and may the Lord use you greatly. <laughs> um, but if you don't, that shouldn't stop you from worshiping, whether yeah. it's in the yeah. song, whether it's in the way you live your life, whether it's just recalling to God what you're learning about him, reading what you've come to know. Yeah. Him, reading the word. Let's let's end with that right there. I, when I was in school, I learned that in a Jewish culture and tradition that studying the word is the highest form mm -hmm. of worship. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we, we are so often in our modern society think of music and song, which is very important. Do not get it wrong. But um, the highest form of worship is would be to study the Torah, would be to study this, you know, just as Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, yeah, a couple yeah. other, you know, um, the Pentateuch, um, throwing out some fancy words. You can look them up later if you like. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> but to really understand who God is so that your worship and your praise would be um, inspired. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And when we study the word of God, we are spending time with God because the word is alive. And so yeah, it is wow. a form of worship. Yeah. So when you even come on and sit with us and we read these scriptures together and you go back and you meditate on them, and you think about them, you think about the goodness of God, re recall the goodness of God. You're worshiping. You, you're worshiping and you're often inspired towards song. Yeah. Wow. The word inspires song and a really good worship song. I know there's so many out here that we say. Um, but a really good one is inspired by the word. Yeah. A really good one. So if you're listening yeah. to them and you're like, I don't know, what are they singing about? I don't know if I, you know, align, align with that or if I, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. If I totally agree with it, which is fine, get you a good song that is it, that is really recalling the word of God in the worship wow. song. And you can never go wrong. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. You're yeah. yeah. always going to, you don't have to worry. Like, my <laughs> so with that being said our prayer for you is that your worship life would just go to new levels and yeah. that you would move past being um fearful or concerned or worried about what other people think about your worship they did not create you yeah. um and, you know what i'm saying they are not um to be in the way of giving adoration to the one who is worthy and deserving of all praise. And so we're praying that you could break past those barriers, even those awkward moments of raising your hand 
or crying out to God yeah. or being vulnerable in his presence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and if you start at home with that, that's great. Some people, the best place to start is, you know, in your own room at home with no one watching. But as you continue to worship and to grow in that relationship, you'll find yourself quite bold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That your worship will become public and it will become a fragrance before the Lord as long as you're worshiping in spirit and yeah, in truth. truth. Yeah. yeah. So with that being said, Trina, since you uh, were inspired to write a unorthodox <laughs> SAT word, um, <laughs> worship song, um, can you be inspired to pray yes, a prayer of our lives? Of course. Yeah. Lord, thank you for this time. Thank you for even allowing us to worship you, Lord. That in itself is a privilege because if we are not worshiping you, we are worshiping something else. So God, I just mm -hmm. ask that you help us fix our eyes on you. Let um, our worship be a sweet aroma to your nose. And uh, God, mm -hmm. just that you would be with us and that every single thing we do, every single action would be worship to you. Not just our singing, but us reading, spending time with people, everything we do from day to day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 And if you want to work out your worship in front of other people, we do that every yes. first and third Sunday at the Source in the living room at 9, 30 a.m. You can see this gal, Trina, who actually leads praise and worship. And then I just get a mic on the side. And be like, yeah, right there, that part right here. I'll be asking for I'll be like, I'll be, I'm the, I'm the God hype man on the yeah. side. Like, yeah, give me that one time right yeah. here. <laughs> Uh, and then um, you also get to see JV um, and me, your girl, Pastor Matsu. We can't wait to have you come through. Until then, we're praying for you. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Bye.